What's great about the visit to Newton Aycliffe today is we get a feel of how much organization and how much planning and how much thinking and how much staging and testing is involved in the fleet. And that gives me confidence that we can expect the delivery to be on program and on time. It's going to help us to reduce journey times on our fastest journey from 52 minutes end to end to 42 minutes end to end. But more than that, it brings us a fantastic increase in capacity of around 50% on the Edinburgh to Glasgow line. On top of that, it's greener. It's about 35% greener. So it fits all of the objectives of our customers, the Scottish Government, and from us, Abellio ScotRail, as a business. It's a fantastic train, and we're very excited about it. It's fantastic to be here with Transport Scotland and uh, colleagues from Abellio. This is demonstrating our progress with the fantastic 70 trains that we're going to be delivering into Scotland for passengers. What we have on site today at Newton Aycliffe is trains 2 and 4 in the test house next door, uh, ready for December when they're going to be actually going on Scottish infrastructure to get tested. Behind me we've got train 7, which is the first hair car that Newton Aycliffe teams here and are learning and refining the production process as we get ready for the full flow of our production delivery to build 70 trains for Scotland. What's been really good about this project is working closely with Hitachi we and Itachi have been able to get the first train from contract signature onto test track and from design freeze included in around 10 months. And that's a fantastic success because that enables us to very quickly get into the build phases and get into the delivery phases, which is where the real benefits lie. Getting these trains into service to affect our customer journeys is what we are all focused on. And it's a very exciting time and we're very pleased that Itachi is moving so quickly and so fast to deliver these trains for us. There's a sense of pride in what we're doing here. The sense of achievement you get from building something as sophisticated as this and building it to the quality that everybody knows it's going to be. What we're putting out is a commuter train that will be second to none on the British network. Our trains are very renowned for extremely impressive performance results. If I just take our Javelin trains down in Kent, we know since those trains have been in operation, they've got a fantastic record of 99.7% into service every single day since they've been in operation. These trains are going to have that sort of similar performance level. The other thing is for passengers, there's some great internal benefits. So every coach has got Wi-Fi, there's better luggage facilities, storage facilities for bikes, a universal toilet. So so lots and lots of design features have been put in here to give passengers in Scotland a commuter train they can be really proud of. The first of the Class 385s will go into service in around September of next year. So you said the autumn of 2017. From September onwards we'll be introducing trains very, very quickly into service. And by December we want around 24 trains in service. So it is a super exciting time for us, really important for us to improve the capacity on our network and it will transform Scotland's railway in the years to come.